So today I'm going to show you how I go about drawing a realistic eye with pan pastels and pastel pencils. First things first, let's get our sketch down on paper. As I'm doing this on dark paper, I'm using a white pastel pencil. I find it makes it very easy to see the lines I've put down and later on when I add colour it's very easy to blend into the drawing so you can't see the initial sketch. As far as the shape of the eye goes, make sure to look carefully at where the pupil is. It's generally in the centre of the iris but higher up on the eye than you would necessarily think if you were drawing from memory so just really make sure that you look at your reference photo. I roughly mark out the eyelashes as well as putting any particularly dark spots or wrinkles down on the paper as well. So now the sketch is complete I like to start off by getting the really crisp white shine of the eye on with again the white pastel pencil and then I start going in with the pan pastels. The pan pastel set I'm using for this drawing is the portrait set. I've put links of all of the materials I've used in the description. I'm just going through with the white and marking out any particularly light bits of the drawing that I can see in the reference photo. I'm doing this regardless of if it's pure white on the reference photo or if it's just a lighter section. I find it adds a really nice base for any other pan pastel colours. Now I'm going through and adding the lightest skin tone in the pan pastel set. The pan pastel set comes with a lot of different tools. I personally like this little one that kind of looks like an eyeshadow brush, but definitely try them all out and see which one works best for you. So I'm just keeping going through here, building up my colours with the pan pastels just to get down that block base. I'm just going through looking at my reference photo and building up my colours bit by bit. At this point it doesn't need to be perfect by any stretch, it's just getting the rough lights and darks on there and just building up that good base. So now I'm happy with my pan pastel base, it kind of looks like a puffy eye. So now we can start going in with the pastel pencils and adding our detail and adding our realism to the drawing. To add the detail I'm using Pitt pastel pencils. You'll find links in the description for the specific pencils I'm using for this tutorial. So looking at the white of the eye here, Again, really pay attention to your reference photo. You'll see that the white of the eye isn't actually glaring white and it tends to be quite dark grey around the edges which gives it that 3D curved look. I can see in the tear ducts there's a lot of pinky colours as well as a little bit of grey and a little bit of white to give it a little bit of a gleam. So now starting to draw the iris, I'm using strokes going from the outside of the iris into the pupil. and just starting with lighter browns and then getting darker as I go and just building up that colour with pencil marks going into the centre. So I'm just adding some colour to the waterline now. It's quite light on this reference photo in the centre with a little bit of grey 
and then quite, quite pinky towards the edge. Now I'm just starting to build up some colors on the skin. So you'll notice that I'm not just using pinky colors and brownie colors, they're on the reference photo, I can see some yellow in there and some purple. The important thing is to look at what you can actually see, not what you think you can see. Adding, if you can see some yellow and purple in there, adding that in just makes it look so much more realistic, adds some warmth to the skin and just some depth. Now I'm just marking out the most prominent hairs of the eyebrow that I can see. This doesn't have to be particularly precise, just roughly trying to get the most prominent hairs. Now I'm just marking out with a mid grey pencil, just roughly placing the eyelashes. I'm looking at my reference photo and paying particular attention to the shape and direction of all the eyelashes. Eyelashes are by no means just straight and pointing straight up. So just adding a bit more now to the eyebrow, adding some of the finer hairs I can see and going over some of those thicker hairs. Making marks in the direction of the hair, blending and then making more marks on top and it sort of builds up the texture of the eyebrows. I'm now just going over odd bits of the eyelashes in the black pastel pencil, 
just any bits I can see in my reference photo should be darker than what I did earlier with the grey. And that's it, that's how I go about drawing a realistic eye. I hope you liked my video and please subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials. Leave a comment below if there's any tutorials you particularly like to see. See you next time.